Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I'm going to show you how to make seed tape from toilet paper. So first things first, if you don't know what seed tape is, it's basically tape with seeds in it. So you can buy it from the store and you can get it with seeded tape or you can get non-seeded tape. I have used it before with carrots. I really like using it personally for smaller seeds that are really hard to see or seeds that might get easily washed away. So I personally use it with beets, lettuce, carrots, and a couple other things. I've even actually used it with really large seeds before too. I've done it with sunflowers and loofah seeds too. So um, I've done that this year out in the garden. But I'm gonna show you how to make it today because it can get kind of pricey if you're buying seed tape. It sometimes comes in little rolls and they're really expensive. You can make it with toilet paper. You don't need to go buy that. So I'm gonna show you how. Let's get started. When it comes to toilet paper for seed tape, what you wanna do is use cheaper toilet paper. So you can use one ply, you can use two ply. I wouldn't really recommend using three ply. I'd also stay away from anything that has a lot of like heavy moisturizers or anything in it like that, because you're gonna put this in the ground for your food. And I like to grow organically, so I don't want any of that extra stuff in there. I have a two ply toilet paper here, which is what we use here at our house because we have a septic. So you can go ahead and take the toilet paper and pull the ply apart, or I guess pull the plies apart. And usually the cheaper, the better. This way you get two pieces of seed tape from one length of toilet paper. So my rows will be about four feet long. My boxes are four by four and eight by four. So I usually do about four feet in terms of how much toilet paper I pull off. And this one's a little short, but it was at the start of the roll, so I just used it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use it. If for some reason your seed tape is not pulling apart nicely or your toilet paper is not pulling apart nicely, you can go ahead and use just a full piece of toilet paper without pulling it apart, as long as it's just like two ply. You don't want anything that's gonna restrict the seeds roots from growing through. And two ply you should be okay with. Okay, so now that I have those pulled apart, what I did here is I made a little mixture of flour and water. This is gonna act as your glue for your tape. And what you're gonna do is on one side, I have a toothpick here, one side you're gonna go through and put a couple drops of this, I don't know, every couple of inches. I'm doing some arugula, so I'm gonna put my seeds about every five inches. And I'm doing a second planting of it since it is summer now, and then this will come up, I don't know, August, September, all my stuff that I currently have out there has bolted, so I needed to do another planting. And once you have your little dots here, you're gonna go ahead and take your seeds and just plop them right in the center of your flower glue. Once your seed is in, you're gonna go back to your glue mix and toothpick, you can use a Q-tip too if you have that, and you're gonna do some dots in between. And then you're gonna do some dots in the middle too. Now I'm just gonna fold this over on itself. and press down. So your flour and water mix is gonna act as glue not only to hold your seed, but also to hold your seed tape together. Once you have it like this, you can go ahead and put it somewhere to dry. And then start on your next row. Um, just a point about this mix, you want it probably 
you know, you guys can probably can't see that. You probably want it similar to pancake batter in terms of texture. Honestly though, you really can't screw it up. If it's a little thin, if it's a little thick, it's still going to work for you. Let's put this somewhere to dry and start another one. Thank you guys so much for following along today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you're looking for more details on how to make seed tape from toilet paper, you can go to sugarmaplefarmhouse.com where I'll have a blog post up on how to do just that. And I will put a link for you in the description below. As always, please remember to subscribe to our channel so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Thanks so much, everyone.